Yeah. Of course, Gav, it's nice to be recognised at the end of the year. It's, uh, it's just a bonus on top of the Conway Cup coming back. Absolutely, and what a year you had, you know, bridging that gap. And I know it's a couple of months on now from that famous victory, but, um, you know, at the time, and you really enjoyed it. It was something special. Yeah, the, it was it was unbelievable. I've been, after saying it a few times now, but I suppose coming the week's coming up to it, the hype was building up, building up, and it, it really did... I know it was it was it was emotional at the end of the game, but it meant so much to so many people. And you only realised that when you came back to the village, like the crowds of people that were there up to the community centre, meeting all the people, and you know, it was it was a really special time. And hopefully, it won't be the last time. Mm, absolutely, and of course, you know this year, you, I suppose you're threatening with a while to make the breakthrough, but you know got over the quarter final, semi final, and then the county final as well. So did you find getting through the knockout stages that you were gaining momentum? I suppose and once you bridged that quarter final barrier, that seemed to be huge. Yeah, it was a it was a strange year this year. Like um, we won the first two games at a canter in the words of Jerry Cinnamon, and um, mm. we kind of took a break for the summer. Then I went off to America for three months over to Chicago, and that kind of re-energized me when I came back. I was I was mad to get back training, and it's probably the best two or three months of training I've ever put in. It was just the, it had one focus to get over that quarter final. We took every game at a time, and to be fair to go out here, it was one of the toughest games we've had in a long time they're a tough physical team and they'll be definitely a team to look out for next year especially with one or two more coming on to the panel and um, once we got over that yeah kind of kind of rolled on from there and everything clicked Absolutely and you know there was plenty of youth and plenty of energy and I suppose he won a lot of admirers for the, the style of play he had this year you know work rate and energy was second to none and obviously the, the work he've done behind the scenes as well uh, really paid off Yeah I, um, the last four years since Jer came in when we started up we were kind of we were leaking goals and we shored it up in defence and that wasn't to the liking of a lot of people around the village for maybe two or three years they were they weren't happy with the way we were playing but we needed that we were a young team we weren't big we weren't strong teams were running at us down the middle we were conceding goals and this year we kind of built on that we had our defensive platform we did need to work on that so we could work on our attacking game then and break and fast and we have pace in abundance we have the likes of James who came in this year made a massive difference Tom came in this year as well make a huge difference and like if Robbie Flynn Willie Hassey Jason Gleeson all strong runners on the ball Mm, absolutely indeed and of course you went to Milton Albay gave a great account of yourselves in the Munster Club Championship narrowly losing out after extra time as well and I know it's something you alluded to afterwards about the experience from that that hopefully that can stand to you uh, in future years yeah it was a great 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 experience like they're one of the top teams in Munster obviously coming out of Clare it's another tough championship and we give a very good account of ourselves and I think we said before the game that we didn't know what to expect of them and they didn't know what to expect of us and I think for the first maybe five or ten minutes we did stand off them a bit and we realised then that we could compete with them and I think that's very important for a lot of Waterford teams to realise that we can compete with anyone at any age whether it be senior under 21 minor we can compete with anyone because we have the talent you can see it yourself you're involved with under 20 teams us with senior Cork us by a point a few years ago pushed clear to the pin of the collar last year so the talent is here in the county it's just about realising that and having the confidence so hopefully we can take confidence from that performance against Milton Malvey and then build on that for next year which we're already looking forward to Absolutely indeed and of course um, with the senior footballers as well you're gearing up for the start of the Division 4 league campaign um, you're obviously captain as well um, that was a, a huge honour as well when I'm sure you received that news Yeah it was it was, it was nice the last few months have been pretty unbelievable in, in sporting terms um, we're getting ready now for the 25th of January against Limerick at home in Farfield. We've put in a good two hard months of training now. Jerry Fitz, our strength and conditioning coach, has in good order. Benji and our coach Mick Casey and Ger Welsh, they're putting the final touches on it now. We've big two weeks ahead of us just putting shape in place and getting all the small things in order. The hard work is done now. It's, it's just about tightening it up. And like Once the league starts, there won't be any hectic training. It'll be week on week. You'll be getting your recovery in maybe working on one or two small things that went wrong in the game but no we're hoping to hit the ground running now on 25th of January mm, Absolutely because it's so competitive Division 4 I know you have Wexford and Carlow back down there this year and I suppose a good start I think I was saying to Benji a couple of weeks ago in Division 4 is vital to get points on the board early and can kind of hinge in what way the, the league campaign turns out Connor. Yeah momentum is key in Division 4 Gavin like if you get a win the first game you can take it from there and especially this year we have a lot of new lads coming into the panel so it'll be, I think it's very important we do get off to a good start to build their confidence like they're plenty good enough to get to be playing at this level. It's just for everybody to realise that they belong at this level. Like the train has been put in. It's just to realise that we we them players do belong. It's gelling, getting used to what we're doing. So hopefully we can get that big win on the 25th of January. Yeah, great stuff indeed and I suppose just to reflect then finally on, on tonight obviously it's a great night for yourself and I know a lot of f- for family and friends here Rack Ormac as well we're up for club of the year as well so you know it's exciting times I suppose really and I'm sure you're looking forward now again to 2020 
yeah it's a it's a reflection on the work that goes on in the club like it's not often the committee does get recognised for what they're doing and it's great to see a few of the lads here tonight Tom Hassett puts in a lot of work Shane Goff he keeps the club going a, a lot of the times by himself he's he's our secretary and I didn't really realise the work he does until I did the PRO work the last two or three years and the work he puts in he could text it any hour of the night he, he loves it and to be fair to him he, he gives it his all so it was a great honour to be recognised or put up as a nominee for Club of the Year and then I suppose as myself yeah it was it was nice to be to be acknowledged it was I didn't mind as long as it was myself or Michael to be honest um, one or the other so staying in Rackormack staying in, stay, stay in Rackormack yeah it was, a, it was a good year for the Red and Green so hopefully we can kick on for 2020 and bring it on another step great stuff indeed well done a great 2019 Connor and best of luck now for 2020 cheers Gav